He's been mentioned in songs by Weezer and Don McLean, been portrayed in multiple films, and had his songs covered by artists like The Beatles and The Rolling Stones. Now you can catch his story and his music on stage at Theatre Northwest. The show tells the story of Buddy's life, his career, from sort of when he started playing rock and roll in Lubbock to when he died in a plane crash in 1959. And it kind of charts the trajectory of his musical career. Buddy's career didn't even last a full two years before his life was tragically cut short. But productions like this are a testament to the longevity of his influence. He was one of the founders of rock and roll. So, I mean, he, he began uh, this whole new genre of music and, and his influences came from kind of all over. I mean, he influenced all kinds of artists uh, down the road. So the, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and uh, you know, even Bruce Springsteen. I mean, there's uh, musicians nowadays who still use him as an influence. So, I mean, there's definitely something sort of um, foundational about the music that he created. Playing a character is one thing, but portraying a real person, especially one who's so iconic, can be a bit of a challenge. Whenever you're playing a real person, people have an idea already of what that person's like, and so you want to try and get deeper, you know? You want to try and get to the real humanity, uh, make them feel like a real person. We want people to come to the show and feel like, oh, I, he, was a, he was a real dude, and I have a better sense of who he was now. You can catch the Buddy Holly story live at Theatre Northwest straight through till December 11th. It's going to be so much fun. People are going to really love the show and it's got everything. It's, it's got some really funny scenes, it's got some really touching moments, it's got a lot of great music. Uh, I think people are going to have an awesome time. For GoPrint Storage, I'm Kevin Neal.